Well, well, we'll see. I mean, it's Mammoth Fortress again. How many games has it been on Mammoth Fortress so far? Too many! I want to see a different background. Come on, guys! Let's get some variety! Is this what it feels like? <laughs> you just always- you're always commentating on Mammoth Fortress? I want to see some small enigma. I've been saying it for years. I'm all about that any other map life. Oh, Agno's off to a great start with this orb. Right off the bat, get some good damage and some good strings. Hermison's returning the favor, though. Sends Agno way out. Is he going to be able to find another follow up? He's looking for that s additional side air. Finds another down air. Avoids the nair. Hermison's doing great stuff up against Agno. On the other side of the map, though, there's been some pretty tra even trading between Ariel yeah. and Blaze. He totally spaced him out with that orb. He hit the angles that orb couldn't hit just outside the range with that Sair. And because of that, he's going to be Agno's the first one out to fall first. In. Yeah, that, that, that's huge. I mean, again, I think that's the win condition. You gotta stuff out the fate, make him afraid to throw out these hitboxes, and Hermison and Ariel looking really clean on this first off. Ooh, Blaze, good turnaround, fights the side stick, tries to get another one here, but it's not enough to kill Mikhail. Ariel. The ground pound will finally do it. They're looking for the quick snipe onto Hermison, finds it with the down like ground pound, and blue team immediately looking pretty good now. This time, Blaze seems like He's going to be the one to hang on to that stock as long as possible. Agno certainly isn't really helping with that, but, I mean, damage yeah. is damage, right? Where, where Agno was maybe, you know, not, not performing as well as he was in the past set in the first stock, Blaze definitely picked up the slack and got two confirmed kills, which again, confirming kills is the biggest thing in the game. And Agno starting to hit his groove once again, combo and aerial. Aerial walking up in neutral Sigan. Not sure what that was about. Akno daring out of hit stun, and because of that, Hermison's able to hit him into the edge guard, hit him with the Sair, and conf confirm the kill once again. Seems like Hermison's you know, the one that's got Akno's number, not necessarily right? Ariel. You, you were talking following. about the Katars, but this Axe is doing real good work up against Akno right now, and he is just struggling. That being said, Ariel does get knocked out, and we're down to even stocks between both teams and pretty much even damage here. So, certainly a very close game. But it really comes down to Blaze on oh, the blue team. Hermison. Oh, Hermison definitely could have taken more advantage of that scenario and probably killed Akna. You know, missing some jumps, missing the dodge, but instead Hermison opts to go for the safer play and return back to stage. Can't fault him, you know, these high pressure situations. It's not necessarily the easiest to go for those huge, big plays. He's knocked off stage without jumps. Akno! Akno oh, it was beautiful! If Arrow doesn't save, oh no, Akno just goes back to stage He's instead good. of trying to catch out Hermison once again. I think those that's two edge guard scenarios. You know, one one and the other, Akno and Hermison, that they opted to just, you know, relax a little bit. Oh, and Blaze nice. did remain on stage and sort of uh, watch out for anyone trying to return. Which again, you mentioned that on the last game. Uh, but with, with different people, I'm, I'm struggling to remember who exactly it was. But the side stick from Agno is going to get the kill here. And they're going to be looking for it on Hermison. He's got, uh, I'd say, a pretty significant deficit to go down on. Not unreasonable, but with Blaze playing at the top and Agno going deep, he's, he's struggling a lot and he has no weapon. And Blue yeah, Team continues I think he needs... to avoid it. And that's going to yeah. do it. <laughs> uh, I think, I mean, that was definitely close. They were in kill percent, but... Dude, Akno did 746 it, it damage. That's that's what happens when you when you get to run away with the orb and the and the scythe, especially. I think it was more of the scythe actually we saw in that game than the yeah. orb seeing success from Akno. He started off with the orb and then Blaze responded with his axe in full force. And I think after that he was just like, eh, it's fine. Don't need the orb then. I'll just use the scythe and do really good work. When I pick up the orb, I'll just stick to those uh those quick side sigs, neutral sigs. And they worked out very effectively. And uh, Agnum and Blaze take game number one. And move on to game number two. It, it, it isn't really about whether or not Agnum keeps his first stock as long as he can. I think not up against this team. Ariel and Hermison, they've got to struggle with the whole team this time. And Agnum is sort of just allowed to run free. Uh, Hermison's dead. Hermison's dead. Well, that's going to... That's... He's still oh, good. Save. Good save the from save. Ariel. That's huge. And, I think that's that part is sort of the responsibility of Blaze to keep him off there. You yeah, know, I don't know what, what's going on in comms, but if I was Agnor, I would have said, you know, I got, I got Hermerson down. Just keep Ariel off up from the save, and unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. But they got a lot of damage on both of them. Ariel and Hermerson have both taken so much damage here, and uh, oh, oh, and they get the so... gimp on Agno. Why did Agno go down there? He had the kill on Ariel, and then. Ariel got the nair, got the chase dodge, and then Agno oh fell. God. Okay, well, they got the 
the double KO. But I think Akno is just allowed to run free with Scythe off stage. You know, definitely one of the scariest weapons off stage. But at the same time, there are windows that you can attack Scythe or that you can mix up your recovery options. And so that the Scythe player isn't just allowed to run free and stuff all your options with those nares and dares. And so I think Hermeson and, uh, and Ariel can definitely be playing around that more. But we see so much fear coming out. Hermeson confirmed kill again. Akno just running away off stage. If I'm Hermerson in area right now, either I gotta mix up off stage or I just gotta not go off stage at all. Because Akno is running free. And Hermerson, he's just gotta be trying to stay alive right now. But Akno, like you said, running free, getting all the hits he needs to, not afraid to put out hitboxes. And he's just gonna try to gimp Hermerson on the other side. Blaze, who's still on his first stop is going to get tons of damage on all members of the red team and not dying in the slightest side air coming out. Oh. It's Ariel down to last stock. Blaze still alive while Hermeson's, everyone else in the game. Hermeson saw that 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 Akno was like getting comboed, so he's like, all right, let me stare here. And then, and then Ariel came flying out of nowhere and he accidentally hit him too. Oh no, this is looking real rough for Ariel. Even if he cleans up Akno, he's got a two stock Blaze effectively while he's in orange. This should clean up the kill. Alright, alright, oh! Agno going for a little fancy schmancy down I was really hoping that Blaze would end the game without ever losing a stock. And Agno ruined the dream. That's okay, they well, won the know, game. He 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 definitely had the spotlight on him in that game. Like Agno and Blaze, I think the team duo, if you look at what happened, it's like Agno made the power plays. He lost his stocks, but he got so many of the kills, and then Blaze just stayed alive. That's a pretty perfect scenario. That's definitely what you want. Is you want one player kind of be a tank, or or at least if that's what they're the dynamic they're going for, one player being a tank and one player popping off. And that's what we're I think. About. I think it's really cool that there's a stark difference between how Acno and Blaze played last game or last set and how they played this set. You know, last time it was all about Acno staying alive, and this one it really feels like a lot more of a team effort, a lot more of Acno going a, a bit more aggressive, still taking a lot of damage and going down more stocks, but the aggressive plays he's making are what's getting the blue team the bigger lead. And here we are in small Enigma, which is what we requested, and I can't wait I to see how this goes. And a down oh, stick for Acno the gets a kill, kill on Ariel. The small and small enigma that, yeah, <laughs> that downsig killed so early. It was off the right side, active input to the right. Very smart from Akno, you know, acknowledging that. And what you're talking about is the change in game plan. I think it's also the change in weapon. We saw once Akno got that sight, way more focused on the offstage game, going real ham. But when he's got this orb, it's a lot more about, a lot more about cheesing with these signatures. We see so many slide charge down downsigs now. I think he's hitting his groove getting a lot of confidence and Hermeson and Ariel are just trailing. Yeah, I also think it's interesting. We didn't see a lot of the downsick from him earlier. Like it was a, a more neutral sick and side sick on orb, oh, but now he's got downsick and he's got hits on unarmed. Gets the kills under Hermeson and Ariel. This is definitely Akno's, Akno's set right now. I think the highlight reel will almost entirely be of like early kills from him or, or at least confirm the kills from him because Akno has definitely been the playmaker. That's not to say Blaze hasn't been doing work, you know? If your teammate isn't staying alive, if your teammate isn't putting on pressure, then you're not going to be able to run away with these, but uh, Akno is definitely hogging the spotlight a little bit. And for a team that was neck and neck with Addy and Cake who are sitting in winner's finals right now, Hermeson and Ariel are looking a little bit lost against this against this team with the fate and the brim. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Like, Addy and Cake are sort of this classic team that I'm sure Hermerson and Earl have plenty of experience in fighting, but Agno and Blaze are just something completely new with this new fate pick and just this interesting team dynamic, and it's something that they're struggling with because Agno and Blaze are just continuing to carry away with this fantastic momentum that they've gotten. And that makes me wonder, I, I'm not quite sure who knocked Ag, Ag, <laughs> I was gonna say Agzo, Akno and Blaze into the loser's bracket, because right now they look super, super strong. Maybe it's that, that Sunday top eight that makes the difference, but either way, they're looking like one of the teams to beat in this tournament. Definitely some of the strongest play we've seen today coming out from Akno. With that being said though, Blaze is actually entering kill percent, especially on this small map of Small Enigma, and Akno falls to his last stock, so Hermeson and Ariel by no means out of it. They definitely got their group back in this game, and is it too little too late? I mean, we'll have to see if Blaze 
<laughs> Blaze ends up oh. getting, getting killed. <laughs> that was a very oh. dangerous situation for Akno. He caught Blaze in that down sig. Hermison actually picked him up out yeah, of the down sig. Yeah, he helped him. Yeah, if he'd waited just a split second, then gotten the punish on the down sig, that would have been perfect for Hermison. But yeah, he didn't quite get that opportunity. It would have done the, the 25 damage, and then it would have hit the. It would have hit Akno as well. A little bit of a rush, but Hermison. Oh, if he stared the other way, I think that would have been it. Blaze looking. No, 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 no. He had his dodge. I can say it's looking grim, but. He's alive. Agno is going to pick up that recovery. Hermison has no options left. Down landed a ground pound, and Blaze and Agno are blazing through their bracket right now. They're going to be moving on. Can I just say something?